I, I mean, the kid is hungrier than anybody I've ever met, to be quite honest. And he's done a remarkable job at positioning himself in a way where he just has all the resources available to him. Um, you know, he's, he's barely 22 and he's barely proven in this industry, but his knowledge base is so clear if you even just have a simple conversation with him. Any uh, Anything on the horizon with Pigtails, with Solve for Y, that, Solve for y that maybe we don't know about? Any more documentaries? Uh, can we can we do anything else, Matt? I mean, my God. Um, I hope so. We're trying to figure out what we can do with this Landon Perkins match. Obviously, we have like the inside track uh, as far as like access to landing goes, and you know Perkins is a pretty good friend of ours. So uh, I would love to be able to do and produce something that I guess puts this match in the spotlight that it deserves. The trouble is that you know they're not really playing much of a regimented schedule, and that makes it very difficult to produce any content around. Um, so we're still kind of like kicking eye around ideas that make sense. Uh, worst case scenario, I imagine we'll just do like some sort of vlog series or, or something of that nature. What is it about Landon Tice, Birkin, and why did you all feel motivated and uh, to, to just bring him onto your team? Uh, I, I mean, the kid is hungrier than anybody I've ever met, to be quite honest. And he's done a remarkable job at positioning himself in a way where he just has all the resources available to him. Um, you know, he's, he's barely 22 and he's barely proven in this industry, but his knowledge base is so clear if you even just have a simple conversation with him. Couple that with the fact that he's networked with the brightest minds in the industry and has them, you know, at his fingertips at all times, alongside his work ethic where he's just putting in hundreds, if not thousands of hours a year studying on top of playing and and really just like being committed to the to the dream of, of making it uh, I, I kind of wish that we had the foresight to do uh, to be determined part two a year ago and just follow his uh trajectory up until this point and beyond because i really do think that like he's one of the bright stars in this community and uh, i don't foresee him being a name that disappears anytime soon that's a lot of positive things to say, Burke. A lot of strengths there. How about weaknesses? I mean, what do you see out of Landon that, that could prevent him from becoming the star that, that you know everyone seems to believe he will become? Sure. Uh, I mean, he's young, right? So he's not battle-tested uh, emotionally, financially, or anything of that sort. Uh, I think it's very easy to anchor yourself into uh, a talent or skill set that you've developed. And when you derive validation from this game, it would be to your knees, right? Because you're just going to go through swings. You're going to suffer a lot of ups and downs. And if that's your sole source of validating that you're a good person who deserves uh, positive things in this world, it, it's going to be an uphill battle. But again, I just think like he's done a great job of surrounding himself with people who are older, wiser, and can kind of guide him down the right path. Um, so even though I think that these failures are probably inevitable, they're not ones that are going to prevent him from rising beyond them. So One last question. Hold yeah, on a minute. We're, we got to talk about Landon because I know that, you know, obviously he's a part of Self for Y and you guys are putting him in stuff left and right. Who's a better player? Put him in a deep stack cash game. <laughs> going to be you or, or the phenom Landon Tice? If it's live, I would take me 100%. If it's online, it's 100% him. It's not wow. even close. Wow. Uh, there's just like some meta to this game that he just doesn't have experience with yet. Um, you know, there, there's still gamble to poker, particularly live poker where you may be sitting a thousand big blinds deep. And uh, if you don't take advantage of the fact that people are disobeying their, uh, the minimum hand requirement necessary to invest a thousand big blinds, then you're just leaving a bunch of money on the table, right? So. Yes, he's definitely more crisp with his study and execution, for sure at 100 big blinds, not even going to be close. But at 1,000, I think that like you know there just might be a lot of spots where he tends to be a little bit more risk-averse because that's what strategy says you should be at those depths. Um, but in environments where money is like freely just being given away, that's kind of problematic. He's Brent Hanks. I'm Jeff Platt. This is No Gamble, No Future. We got sports betting. Oh. We got fantasy sports. Oh. And sometimes, Brent, you just need to be a pure degenerate. Absolute 
degeneracy. Like, subscribe, follow, enjoy the show. <laughs>